Hey everybody, Carl's here. Welcome back for more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Last time, we won the Hoverboard Personal Grade Championship with five Skid McMarkses. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Ratchet, he was able to participate. Don't lie to me. This time, we're going to be making our race to, well, meet up with Captain Quark since, well, we did get our confirmation that he is indeed here. I'm gonna swing away over here. And all one crate! Thank you, Quark, for leaving that far. Okay, no, no, no. He's not the type to just leave money laying around. If he did, he wouldn't have to take all those sponsorships. <clears throat> okay, here is where we need the higher displacer. Which, I get to actually, um,. I need to do this a bit sooner, but you can customize your quick select menu at any time so you have more than, well, eight items, but because that's the most you can actually carry. Well, not, not necessarily carry, but have any uh, quick select menu at one time. I don't see any need to have the taunter for a little while, so I'm going to go and replace it with that. Okay, now, you see how much water is in that little, not little, but, you see how much water is this in the pool? Look at this type of device as I go and use this. <clears throat> How was able to hold that much water? Also, what I find kind of fascinating is if we do it fast enough, yeah, racket will drain water from nothing. <laughs> the pipe will still be in at the same time. If you if you do it just that that quick enough, yeah. The pipe will have barely any time to um, pop back up. You'll still be draining the water as if it's still up in the first place. It is kind of a little bit of funny oversight. <laughs> but, yeah. I just kind of wanted to show that real quick. Okay, so just fill this boy here and uh, break that. Going through. Now this, you also gotta train the pull here because it's, yeah, this would be, this is kind of an array, so let's smash that to pieces. <clears throat> now, I know what you're thinking, like, oh my god, this, this mission seems pretty easy enough. Why would you say this is brutal? <clears throat> oh, ho, ho, ho. my friend, if you are saying that, you have not played this game before. You'll see why this is a brutal mission here shortly. For now, I just want to go around and collect these. I was he worried about this mission, given the fact that I just called it, that I just said this mission was brutal. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't have to do all that Hydra Displacer puzzle again. This is your checkpoint. I would know this all too well. Because you see that up there? As soon as you step on this button. Yeah, this whole area will be flooded. You need to get through this while the water levels are rising. And yes, the time limit on this is... Fuck, I've already fucked this up. Come on. If I can somehow get through this, I'd be amazed. Quite frankly, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. There are some areas where you gotta... Go upwards and downwards and just zigzag vertically. Yeah, I've already fucked this up. Warning. Turn your headphones down. <clears throat> There's even a long path right here.
Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. I still made it! What? What? I so much I made that! First try! Oh my, oh my god, I, I fucked it up! <laughs> oh my god, that was so cluck! Sorry I murdered your ears, but holy crap! <laughs> well! Oh my gosh. Uh, you got this connecting way to get back to the hoverboard races at any time. <laughs> if you had completed that mission already and hit the button on the other side. Hey, hey, hey. Press conference is over. Captain Quark the Wonder will report his bugging him in his trailer. Oh, you see, my friend and I need <clears throat> to speak to the captain about a matter of galactic security. You mean you and your walking camera? Paparazzi make me sick, now beat it! But sir, I'm sure the Captain Quark will understand once we... No, no, save it. I know how it works. You convince me to let you in, you snap a picture of the Captain in his underpants, Under then pants. you sell a picture to the info tabloid for a million volts! You've got it all wrong! Meanwhile, I'm stuck here making six volts an hour, and I have to listen to a lecture from that cheapskate Quark. So you don't get in unless I get a kickback. <coughs> why you think Clank is a camera of all things. <clears throat> also, yeah, that's only how it works. <clears throat> I think you can kind of see why I wanted to hold off playing the Mind Glove. I mean, granted, it is a good weapon and all, <clears throat> but still, I'm scared. I'm kind of paranoid of not having enough bolts for this. I don't know why. <laughs> but let's just go and pay our way in. But holy hell do I feel good about what I just did. You see how it works. You grease the hinges, the door opens. Captain Bugger? It's Ratchet and Clank, Captain. You know, from the hub. Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Huh? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our planet. Ratchet, he knows. Great. Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friend, we're all in grave danger. And I believe that together, we can put a stop to this madness. Together? You mean you want our help? Look, Ratchet, I've been keeping an eye on you. And I've never seen anyone with such raw talent. You are a true hero in the making. Really? You mean... I could be famous? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, take this. What makes one man toil in obscurity another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question. But Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff kids are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contractions? Can you quickly quark? Can, can you quickly quick? Oh, just make your way through the defenses to the end of the base. Prove yourself, learn the secret, and earn your place in galactic history. Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment. Your results may vary. Three things to say about what happened there. Okay, one, Ratchet, you already went hoverboard racing. You're not doing it again, buddy. Second, <clears throat> I love that during the info butt, we have <clears throat> that was next to the uh, bull crank, M O M, spelling mom. <laughs> Third, I love the fact that he's still talking in announcer voice, even after the whole info pop thing. <laughs> but, like, just so many good things just happened during this mission. Let's go! <clears throat> but yeah, 
You see why that mission is, is just oh so brutal. <clears throat> but yeah, nothing more to do here. By the way, that path I just took... <clears throat> There is a secret along the way, but it's inaccessible the first time you're here. We're gonna have to come back for that. So yeah, we've done all we can here, so let's go to Quark's secret base. On planet Umbrus. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I am looking forward to this. It's the typical test of heroes. You really expect it to come easy, Racket? <clears throat> also, I can't put my finger on it, but I think there's gonna be a, I think there's gonna be a reason I'm just going to wind up hating Captain Cork. I don't know, just got feeling. I got some great bargains for you today. Actually, you know, I think a will punch is going by the mind glove. Cause fuck it, I might as well. But yeah, Quark's HQ. I love this mission quite a bit. Not just for its awesome music, but yeah, it is pretty good. I'll <clears throat> gotta get rid of this Bumble Maddox so you can hear it better. But I'm just gonna shut up and let you hear this music as I hunt ducks. Can I seriously not hit these ducks on the blast? Which is pretty good. <coughs> oh well, it's kind of odd. Man, these. Ouch. Yeah, these, ouch. That's totally what I'm going to say about them. No. <clears throat> Bomber Max are pretty simple as long as you keep your distance because those bombs can only fly so far to distance. They'll basically attack just everything in, 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 not, not in front of them, but around them. Also, we got these things. These are, I'm not kidding. <clears throat> these are just simply... The machine gun turrets. <clears throat> Watch Rabbit through the You can try the wrench. You can try the bomb. 
Blaster does the same thing. We could burn it. <clears throat> we can summon our Doom guys. Yeah. Try your might. You cannot destroy this thing. All I do is just retract. And that's it. It'll redeploy after just a few seconds. So, I consider that thing more of an obstacle than an enemy. I, I, that's, I'd say more of a hazard than an enemy, personally. So, yeah. If you're thinking of trying to destroy the thing, don't bother. Even the almighty Not enough to outright destroy this thing. I can't believe I actually spoiled the future weapon, holy crap. <clears throat> oh well. It's not gonna matter too much. Really, your best strategy here is just to hang back and just take out a lot of the uh, obstacles as you progress forward. Because typically, the um, obstacles themselves will only hurt you if you get close bricks, within close proximity or Traps will also activate within your close proximity of them, so distance is the key. Also, these switches. Yeah, you gotta activate them in order to be able to progress through this. It's just kind of the one special little gimmick here in this planet. Also, yeah, you think that's enough Fumble Medic quirk? <laughs> Honestly, uh, would be. Like I said, just keep your distance, just take out the bubble medics, and you'll be able to do this. Hey, okay, no problem. These won't stay activated forever unless you hit all three of them. <clears throat> so I think I kind of do kind of like how they're kind of shaking things up here a little bit. Just finding new puzzles to, for you to actually go through. It never gets stale or boring or repetitive. That's the thing I want to like about this. <clears throat> okay, so we got barbed wire fences here. And we have <clears throat> metallic recreations of Captain Cork's face. You can break them for an extra bit of money, yeah. You can break Captain Cork's face and get paid for it. Hey, I'm happy. <laughs> Okay, this is just how you're kind of intended to do it, just zigzag across these um, barbed wire fences, which kind of makes this more to be um, a military base rather than a challenge course, but no. These are just high enough to where you can actually boost up your boost up over these. And considering, the, and considering the fact that these barbed wire fences don't hurt you in the slightest, even though it totally looks like it should. But it just doesn't. And if you're kind of speedering your way through this, unless you just kind of glitch your way through a lot of these walls, that that would be a decent speedrunning tactic for you. Just don't bother zigzagging along these walls. Just boost jump, just boost jump over these. And again, I'm not exactly speedrun material, so take what I say with a grain of salt. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. After activating these switches here, <clears throat> that gets us the first of the two gold bolts here. You only need to come to this place one time. So I'd make sure to grab pretty much everything that you can here. <clears throat> I'm just going everything here. I do kind of like the, how Captain Quark has his own hidden vault here. That's pretty awesome. Okay, while bolt gathering, I would say go ahead and just disable the um, machine guard turrets at the same time. I wouldn't say it's, ne it's all that necessary if you just go through here collecting bolts.
But, oh well, that one's already broken. You son of a bitch. I could have called that for money. Yeah, that's, that's already broken. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I thought I could just whack it with my uh, wrench and I'd be just fine. I'd, I'd be fine after the fact. Nope. <clears throat> again, I, I, don't, I don't think uh, speedrunners would bother going for the bolt crates. <clears throat> I could be wrong, however. I seriously doubt that'd be the case. Okay, come on. I shouldn't have bothered with those crates now. Yeah. If you don't hit those switches fast enough, they'll reset and you have to do it again. Okay, come on. Oh yeah, did it. Uh, excuse me, come on, come through, thank you. All right, now just make sure we don't get hit from the machine guns. <clears throat> okay, some up to full health, some I guess. Mm, it could be in worse shape to be fair. No, I think I should save my blaster ammo and just use the power sector. Okay. Since I've already hit that, I might as well just do this and do that before I collect all the bolts here. And yeah, it's pretty much in every base that I've seen up to this point, but there's always got to be um, <clears throat> a statue depicting whoever as the base. Now, if we go up to this door. I've only seen this one time, so there was a there was a bit of a glitch that happened, and where you can actually just phase your way through that door and collect the gold ball on the other side. <coughs> I'm kind of disappointed I can't replicate it. Video evidence will be in my other channel, um, Data and Lounge, so keep an eye out for that. But, this. You are definitely going to want to train this shark tank. Because we have shark gators act as actual enemies. <clears throat> in a full body of water, they are insta-kill. In uh, shallow water, they can still move. They, they can still do stuff like move around. They, they're still a bit of a threat. I shouldn't do this, but I guess I better just. I guess I better. I guess I better just. Refill that pool, so, just so I can be able to... You know, I probably could have just passed fill in the pool entirely. But, oh well. Actually, no, I don't think I could have because, well... And then a pool that's right ahead I need a drink. No, actually, I do need to do that. Only the fact that that other pool over there is empty. Breeze! Okay, what am I doing here? I was just near that door you need to go through to get that gold ball in the first place. This ledge is where you need to jump off in order to go beyond that door and add the gold ball from behind it. 
And I seriously don't realize this in the recording. Hooray, putting out the obvious. You can't use your eyes. For doing that, we gotta take out these shark gators that are in here. <clears throat> I got a really handed a quirk. The um, <clears throat> shark gator is making some good um, obstacles that you gotta like, overcome. You know, just making good use of the uh, hydro displacer. Good on, you, good on you, quirk. Good on you. Now, something about the uh, hi the shark gator. Hopefully, I get to show. Okay, I, I kind of want to fill the pool because I definitely want to show this. If they're on dry land, they are helpless. Utter helpless enemies. Whereas, yeah, in shallow water, they can still just move around and just kind of bite you. No, they are completely helpless when they're completely out of water. So, uh, there you go. Also, you can break these seashells for a little bit of money. <clears throat> so, I guess... I guess you do kind of want to capture those. Alright, go over here. This should put me back at full health. Oh, I, I'm already there. Derp. I don't know why it wasn't exactly full health. I guess kind of called out my paranoia kicking in. Also. <clears throat> Alright. Really pulling out all the stuff that you just laser. Gotta do that because otherwise you are doomed to just go in the water and be um, struck your child. And at this point, we should be near the end of this. And yeah, there's about like five chunky gator down there. After this, we're home free. But I think it'd be best to um, call us quits here. We're creeping them on the 30 minute mark. And like I said, I do want to keep my videos from being over 30 minutes if I can help it. <clears throat> it was an awkward stopping point. This is an admission, but yeah. Next time I'll let's play Ratchet and Clank, we'll finish the gauntlet that Quirk set for us. See you guys then. Also, sorry about this bad cut point. <laughs>